stand in the way of the resolve of the leadership of the House of Representatives to ensure that students in tertiary institutions resume academic activities. This time at the meeting, all parties were represented. I will continue to uh, assure you about the support of the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Uh, whatever decisions are taken, whatever directives are given, where we intend to provide any information or uh, be in attendance in subsequent meetings, you can count on me on that. Uh, uh, at this point, I would humbly request that uh, Dr. Habiba Lawa, who you know very well, uh, is now the special advisor to the president on policy and coordination, would step into my shoes in my absence and she would brief me accordingly at the end of the meeting. Thank you, sir. One major issue in contention is the payment system for universities. Is there any country in the world where salaries for lecturers are paid from the Office of Academic General? Why is, where is the idea of the law? Let me be trusted to Nigeria. Are they using the Central Bank? Are they not peculiar to have law? Are they using it neither? Are they using it neither? So please, let's respect the peculiarity rather than want to put all of us into one small hole. And finally, there's no country in the world we harvest the, the data of all the academics package and give to a foreign company. No country will do that in the world. You see, one of the risks in thinking of even adopting new tests is that if you do this, you are going to create a room for everybody to now come to say, you know what, we are all so unique, give us our own. Mr. Speaker, as we speak now in the university environment, we already have two. We have one for the academic staff and non-academic staff. Maybe, you never know, maybe a time is going to come when the cleaners will say, no, you know, we are not professors, give us our own. A time will come when maybe a law professors will come, you know, we are law professors, give us our own. In the health sector, the same thing will happen. As we speak, the military is on IPPS, police is on IPPS, and they're also peculiar. They have their own peculiarities. IPPS is not a perfect system, sir. So uh, I want us to understand this. We know this. There are three applications. If the end of the test says that TAS or U3PS is the superior one, government should adopt that one. We are vehemently opposed to multiple applications because all that it will do is you know, worsen uh, already bad fiscal situation because it will cost money. You'll be spending money at those multiple points. For us, in terms of professional advice, we have said that these solutions have failed our test in terms of, you know, their usability. I mean, based on the two tests that we have done and we have presented the report. There are vulnerabilities in them as identified in our test, and there are functionality and user acceptance issues as we identified in them. So that's what we said. So as far as that is concerned, as far as university payment is concerned, the three solutions have failed our test because that is what we tested. Okay. We Meanwhile, the comments from the Minister of Labor infuriated the ASU leadership and led to a slightly rowdy session. Mr. Speaker, I, it's jocular, but it's still serious. That what? That the ASU president said that APC government are kept children at home and that Nigerian people should vote out people who are not there. No, it is. What did he say? What did he say? But, 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 we're making progress. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, after Adobe Tobi, you get, a, you get the opportunity. You get the opportunity after Adobe Tobi. Amid the rowdy session, the Minister of Labor excused himself for the permission of the Speaker. You will have an opportunity. You will have an opportunity to speak out. The man of the minister that was telling lies on the public. Look at us. You're telling lies on the public.